हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आलोक सिंह चौहान टुडे आई विल डिलीवर टॉपिक ऑन डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम लेट्स स्टडी इट एज यू नो डिसीजन मेकिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम व्हाट इज डीएसएस अ डीएसएस दैट मींस डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम इज अ कंप्यूटर बेस्ड इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम दैट सपोर्ट्स business or any organizations for making effective decision we can also say that it is an information system that utilizes analytical modeling and helps executives to make strategic decisions this system helps to top level managers during the decision making processes what are the characteristics of dss it handles large amount of data from different sources that means data can be come from various sources it provides report and presentation flexibility that means you are flexible to generate any type of report according to the customer needs it support drill down analysis drill down analysis means we can move from less detailed data to the highly detailed data it also performs complex sophisticated analysis and comparison using advanced software packages that means you can compare and perform analysis on data using dss it also performs different type of analysis like what if analysis in what if analysis we makes hypothetical changes to problem and observes impact on the result another one is simulation where we duplicate features of real system that means we simulate the real world environment and the third one is goal seeking analysis in which we determines problem data required for a given results in other word we can say that we calculate backwards to finding input based on the given output the capabilities of dss are as follows it supports problem solving phases and different decision frequency that can be low and high for example low decision if you want to merge with another company it is a low decision frequency and another one decision based on high frequency that is how many widgets should i order it works on both highly structured data and semi structured and unstructured in structured problem problems are straight forward based on known fact and relationship but in the case of semi structure or non structure problem problem can be a complex where relationship among data not always clear data may be in various formats main problem is that during semi structure or non structure data how can we take effective decision and this will helpful by dss so we can say that basic themes of dss are dss is information system it is used by managers it is used in making decisions it is used to support not to replace people and basically used when the decision is semi structure or unstructured it also incorporate a database and models so we can discuss what are the types of dss the first one is communication based dss it supports more than one person working on a shared task it uses communication network and technologies for example microsoft net meeting second one data driven it emphasizes access to and manipulation of time series of internal company data sometimes it may be external data in document driven dss it manages retrieves and manipulates unstructured information in a variety of electronic formats in knowledge driven dss it provides specialized problem solving expertise stored as facts rules procedures and the last one in model driven dss it emphasizes access and manipulation of statistical financial optimization or simulation model model driven dss use data and parameter provided by users to assist decision maker in analyzing a situation next let's talk about components of dss basically there are three component dss first one is model management software which coordinates the use of models in the dss second one model base which provide decision makers with access to a variety of model 
and the third one is dialog manager which allows decision makers to easily access and manipulate the dss this is the diagram of model of dss how dss model are arranged you can say that dvms takes data from database and mms take data from model base these are the base model base and we can access the internet network with computer system also access external database with the help of dialog manager and by this data can be supported by dss and decision making can be happened let's talk about advantage of dss it's time saving we can take effective decision in less time it improves personal efficiency a single person can generate reports and present in efficient manner it improves interpersonal communication between two employees or more than two employees by using dss organization can gain competitive advantage in the market by using dss we can promote learning how the tasks are performed how decision are taken place and overall it enhances the effectiveness of the decision making in a organization in short we can say that decision support system uses analytical models specialized databases decision makers own insight and judgment and by using this it is interactive counter based modeling process to support making of same structure and unstructured business decision let's all about this thank you